Okay, so now we're going to talk through each phase of the business cycle and talk about what happens during that phase. So it'll be very helpful to have some concept of what that phase feels like, what it looks like uh, to people at that time. Um, and then it'll be easier to remember what's happening to the indicators during that phase. So we're gonna go through each phase, talk about what it looks like, uh, what businesses are experiencing, what consumers are experiencing, and then talk about what happens to each of those indicators uh, during each phase of the business cycle. So we uh, looked at the different indicators, the GDP, the unemployment rate, and the inflation rate, and talked about how we could see the business cycle, we could see the booms and the busts in the macro economy. And so now we're gonna talk about those booms and busts with our indicators, right? With what we know from, from those indicators. So um, phase one, we have the, uh, the, the peak, sorry. So uh, at the top, right, where you wrote number one, uh, that's the peak of the business cycle. And so what this feels like is things are going really well. Um, companies are expanding, they feel high demand for their products, they're hiring a lot of workers, uh, and so workers get snapped up pretty quickly. Um, things feel really good here at the peak. Um, consumers are spending because they feel really confident in how things are going, they're getting raises at their jobs, um, right? businesses feel like things are going well, workers feel like things are going well. Okay, so everybody just feels pretty good here uh, at the peak. Also, stock prices tend to be high um, because everybody feels really optimistic about how things are going. Um, and when stock prices are high, everyone who owns stocks, which is a lot of people, feel wealthier, right? Because this thing that they own is more valuable um, than before. Um, and so as the, the stock values go up, people feel wealthier, they feel more comfortable spending, right? Okay, so here at the peak, things feel good, right? You think about like roaring 20s, right? Like things are feeling good. Okay, and then, um, yeah, so then we'll unpack what the indicators are doing during this time. So uh, think about what the real GDP will be like during this time, right? Businesses feel like things are going really well, people are buying a lot of their products, they're expanding, right? Um, real GDP is high, okay? In fact, it's the highest at any point in the business cycle, okay? So next to real GDP, right, highest. Uh, you can't really tell, but there's a colon so real GDP, colon, unemployment rate, colon, price level, colon, okay? And then we're gonna fill in the blank here for each one of what's going on with that indicator during that phase of the business cycle, okay? So here at the peak, uh, the real GDP is gonna be highest, right? It's gonna be at its highest at any point in the business cycle, right? And we notice that the next phase will be a decreasing uh, real GDP, so we'll get there. Okay, but yeah, real GDP is highest uh, here at the peak, um, okay. And, and we'll notice, of course, like this is a graph of real GDP. All right, um, so that's GDP adjusted for inflation. Um, and so an increase in real GDP means we're actually producing more goods and services um, because it's inflation adjusted. Okay, and then we have the unemployment rate. Okay, so think about it. During this time, well, the unemployment rate will be higher than the natural rate, lower than the natural rate, about the natural rate. Think about it. Right, businesses are booming, things feel really good. What's gonna be true about the unemployment rate? Okay, so have some thought in your head. Doesn't matter, just pick something. So high, low, normal. Okay, it's gonna be lower than normal. And if you think about it, that makes a lot of sense, right? Because the companies are producing a lot, they feel like demand is high they're going to be um, hiring a lot of workers, right? They're gonna be snapping up workers really fast. And so the workers are gonna have an unusually low unemployment rate, okay? So unemployment rate's gonna be unusually low, right? So the unemployment rate's at its lowest at the peak, okay? Exactly because the real GDP is at its highest. So this is really important, make sure you write this down, okay? The unemployment rate is lowest because companies are producing a lot, okay? Unemployment rate is low because companies are producing a lot, right? So they're snapping up the available workers very quickly. Okay, so in fact, the unemployment rate is gonna be unusually low. It's gonna be below the natural rate, which is not sustainable, as we will see. Okay, um, and that real GDP is gonna be above 
a sustainable level, right? We notice that. So this trend line, this 3% growth, is our like sustainable production trend line, which is like the PPC line, okay? Right, our amount of sustainable production. And so when we're producing more than that, which we can do in the short run, we're overproducing and it's gonna lead to a crash. Ah, okay, all comes full, full circle there. Okay, so we have an unusually low unemployment rate at the peak. All right, then the price level. So think about what's gonna be going on at the price level, right? Again, this is the average of the prices of everything across the economy. So what will be happening to the pr average of prices during this time? Right, things are going really well, business is booming. What's gonna happen to the price level? All right, so just pick something in your mind. Your price level is gonna be high, right? Because there's high demand for products and so companies are gonna feel like things are going well, right? They can raise the prices and still sell all their products, right? They're gonna be feeling really good about this. So the price level is typically rising because of high demand for products, okay? So price level is gonna be at its highest uh, at any point in the business cycle. Okay, so we have lowest, no, sorry, highest, lowest, highest. Okay, so price level is at its highest. Okay, then we have the second phase of the business cycle. Okay, so things were great at the peak, okay, but right around the corner was the crash, okay? So this is our contractionary phase, phase two. So over this phase, uh, real GDP is declining, okay? And in fact, that's our definition. Uh, okay, so I'll give you a second to go ahead and write this down. Phase two, contractionary phase, okay? Uh, and then there's some other words that we've heard associated with this phase. Um, so we might describe this as a crash, a recession, or a depression. Okay, so give you a second to write this down. Crash, recession, or depression. Okay, so recession is a key term. You'll need to be familiar with the other ones, but the other ones aren't a key term that has a definition. So recession, okay, is two quarters, two quarters, that is quarters of a year, two quarters of declining real GDP, okay? Two quarters, two quarters of a year of declining real GDP. Okay, so two quarters of a year, so the quarter would be three months, right? And so two quarters of a year would be six months. Okay, so if there's six consecutive months where the GDP goes down, then we call that a recession, okay? Um, so, and that's because the GDP fluctuates all the time, right, every month. Because um, we talked about how hard it is to count up the GDP, and so there are going to be some months where things get counted more and some months where things get counted less. And so in any particular month, if the GDP goes down, it might just be a fluke, right? Maybe, you know, some things just got counted weird, right? It could just be a fluke. And so we don't want to get worried if, you know, just one month the GDP goes down, right? We wait until there's a consistent trend of the GDP falling for six months before we declare that there's a problem. Okay, so that's the idea of that. Um, okay, but this contractionary phase is the whole time, right, from the peak to the trough. Um, typically, this phase happens pretty quickly. Um, uh, yeah, the crash, crashing part like, happens pretty fast. Um, it can take a long time for the peak to grow. So time-wise, um, if you remember to our, our actual graph of GDP, um, there was, you know, pretty consistent times of growth and then like a drop and then growth and then drop, right? But the amount of time for the, the growth periods was much longer than the drop periods, right? Um, but the contractionary phase, yeah, happens pretty quickly. Um, typically lasts, again, six months is the minimum to call it a recession um, to maybe a year or two, but typically uh, pretty, pretty quick. Okay, so during the contractionary phase, the real GDP is declining, right? We notice that that's our definition of recession, declining real GDP for two consecutive quarters. Um, okay, so the real GDP is going down during this time. Okay, so then let's think about that, right? What that's gonna feel like for these firms is people don't wanna buy our products. You know, things are, are not happening. Um, we, you know, we're not gonna expand. We're not gonna hire new workers, right? In fact, we're gonna probably fire a bunch of the workers we have because people aren't buying our product, right? We don't need to be making as much as normal cut a bunch of workers, this is not working out, right? Um, so if they're producing less than normal, typically because of low demand, but we'll talk about other reasons why it could happen, what's gonna happen to the unemployment rate? 
Yeah, it's going to increase. Okay, good. So we're going to see the unemployment rate increase during this time. Okay, increase in the unemployment rate. Okay, so then the price level, again, right, the average of prices. So how will the price level change if people aren't buying as much and companies are kind of panicking and firing a bunch of workers? Right, well, think about it from the company's perspective, right? They're feeling people aren't buying their products. So what could they do to get people to buy the products when people are not excited about buying products? Right? What do you, companies always do when people aren't buying their products fast enough? Yeah, they lower the price. Exactly. So we're going to see that happening in aggregate. Right? In aggregate, companies are going to feel like, oh, people aren't really wanting to buy our products. Let's put them on sale. Okay? So basically, this is the world going on sale. <laughs> like A lot of companies at the same time are going to be lowering their prices to try to get people who don't really want to buy stuff to buy stuff. Okay. So price level is going to be declining during this time. Okay, so as we talked about when we talked about price level, it's not as tight of an indicator of the business cycle as real GDP and unemployment rate that are super tight indicators of the business cycle, right? We looked at that unemployment rate graph and the RGDP graph, and we could very clearly see like, oh, there was the Great Depression, right? Or, oh, there was the crash of 2009, right? But we couldn't really do that with the price level, okay? And that's because the price level can change because of the business cycle, right? Because of demand for, for goods and services. But it could also change if the money supply changes. So because there are other things that can affect the, uh, the price level, it's not going to be a slam dunk that it's always going to exactly follow these trends. Okay, So just be aware that like, the price level might be doing something weird, but that doesn't mean you aren't in the business cycle that our GDP and unemployment rate change tells you that you are. Okay. Um, great, so that's the contractionary phase. Um, it's extremely painful, right? Unemployment rate goes up, lots of people lose their jobs. Um, a lot of companies go out of business during this time. It's bad. So right now, um, with the, the COVID lockdowns, we're feeling um, like the pains of the contractionary phase, right? We're feeling companies going out of business, people not being able to find work. Um, and we're also seeing, you know, largely price levels falling um, as companies are putting things on sale to try to sell them when people don't really want to buy. Um, okay, so, uh, so then the contractionary phase keeps happening, right, um, until things get as bad as they will get, and that's phase three, the trough, okay? So in the trough, things are bad, right? Things are really bad. Um, all the companies that were going to go out of business have pretty much have gone out of business. All the workers that were going to get fired have gotten fired. Um, all the sales that weren't going to happen have not happened. Things are bad, okay? But they're as bad as they're going to get, so that means that they're going to be able to get better, but right now they're really, really bad. Okay, so in the trough, phase three. Real GDP is what? What's true about real GDP in the trough? Think about it. Have some answer in your mind. Yeah, real GDP is going to be low, right? In fact, at its lowest at any point in the business cycle. Okay, so we notice it's dipped. It's lower than it was before. Um, okay, so our GDP is the lowest um, that it will be in the business cycle. So our GDP is at its lowest, right? Again, um, demand for products has been low, right? It's been falling. Um, companies have been going out of business, right? Production is lower than normal. Okay. And then we have our unemployment rate. In fact, right, we can compare it to normal, right? This is normal, right? Along the, sorry, along this uh, pencil trend line is normal, right? But the actual output is lower than that. All right. So if production's lower than normal, a bunch of companies have gone out of business. What's true about the unemployment rate? Okay, so have some answer in your mind. What's going on with the unemployment rate during this time? Yeah, it's high. It's at its highest of any point in the business cycle. Yeah, because lots of people have lost their jobs, right? But fortunately at the trough, everybody who was going to lose their jobs because of this recession has already lost them. So that stinks, but also things are going to get better. Okay, but the unemployment rate is at its highest, so that's rough. All right, so then what's going on with the price level? Things are at their worst. Price level is, have some answer in your mind. Yeah, it's at its lowest, okay? So as demand was falling and the companies were going out of business and slowing their production because people weren't really buying things, they were lowering the prices to get people to try to, to try to get people to want to buy them. And so now the prices have reached the lowest level they will in this business cycle, okay? So the price level is at its lowest. 
Um, so remember that uh, falling price level is called deflation. It's a negative inflation rate. Okay. So we sometimes see um, deflation happening in the contractionary phase and the trough. Um, but as I said before, it doesn't always happen um, because there could be other things affecting the price level. But um, in the trough, you're going to get you know, the lowest real GDP and the highest unemployment rate. Okay, but the sun will come out tomorrow, right? So you have the recovery or the expansionary phase, okay? So things were real bad here in the trough, but they're about to get better. I'm sorry. Okay. So we notice things were bad, bad, okay? But they've gotten as bad as they're going to get, so now they're, they're poised to get better, okay? And so then we have the recovery or the expansionary phase. That's phase four, okay? Recovery or expansionary phase. So this phase is kind of great um, because things are going to start getting back to normal, right? Um, people are going to start, um, uh, you know, feeling comfortable spending again. Businesses are going to start feeling demand increase, and they're going to feel comfortable hiring workers back. Uh, things are going to start getting back to normal. Um, and so um, in a minute, we'll talk about why. Um, the crash happened and then why the recovery happens. Um, but let's talk about what this looks like. So things are getting back to normal. So what's happening to real GDP during this phase if things are getting back to normal, right? Companies are you know, getting back to normal production, demand's getting back to normal, uh, they're hiring back to a normal number of workers. Yeah, real GDP is gonna go up. Okay, good, so real GDP is gonna be increasing during this time, which we also, of course, see on the graph. Nope, okay. On the graph, yeah, there it is increasing okay and unemployment rate what's gonna happen to the unemployment rate yeah it's gonna decrease good because they're gonna be hiring workers back and production is gonna get back to normal okay and then what's gonna happen to the price level okay good price level is gonna be rising right because demand goes back to normal companies are gonna be able to raise their prices you know back to normal and that's gonna be um, that's gonna be good okay um, so the real GDP and the unemployment rate, you've noticed, always move opposite, okay? And that's a really, really important thing to notice um, and to know exactly why that is, okay? So think about why that is. So why is it that as real GDP goes down, unemployment rate goes up? Do you have some idea in your mind? Okay, it's because as the companies are producing less, which is decrease in real GDP is companies are wanting to produce less they don't need as many workers so the unemployment rate will go up okay so just when the real GDP is changing think about that as a change in production right so if we're producing more we need more workers so more real GDP would mean lower unemployment but if we're producing less then we don't need as many workers so lower real GDP means higher unemployment okay but it's all about production and how many workers they need to do that production all right, in the next video, we're going to talk about what causes the f moves from one phase to the other, like from the peak to the contractionary phase, uh, and then to uh, like from the trough to the recovery.